Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on linear equations in two variables. Now in this video we will discuss uh, what are the equations of lines parallel to x-axis and y-axis. Means there are some equations which are uh, parallel to x-axis and y-axis in which either the abscissa is 0 or like abscissa is constant or ordinate is 0 or ordinate is constant. So we will discuss the, these type of lines through examples so that you can better understand. Then again we will solve one or two advanced questions which will be helpful for you to further see how can we apply this concept. So again we will follow the same strategy. We will solve each and every question through the example. So let's get start with the first topic which is introduction to equations of lines parallel to x-axis and y-axis. Now, suppose we have the points 2, 0, 3, 0, minus 1, 0 that all lie on x-axis. Means, these the whose ordinate part is 0, like here the ordinate part is 0, here the ordinate part is 0, here the ordinate part is 0, means whose y-axis part is 0, they li all lie in x-axis. Suppose we have a Cartesian system like this, now, suppose this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. And this is minus 1, this is minus 2, this is minus 3, and this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. Now, if we mark the point 2, 0, it will lie over here, this point. If, the, if we mark the point 3, 0, it will lie at this point. If we mark point minus 1, 0, it will lie over here. So we can clearly see that all the points lie on x-axis. Why? Because we have ordinate part as 0. Now again the points 0, 8, 0, minus 2 and 0, 2 all lie on y-axis. Why? Because its abscissa or x-axis part is 0. 0, minus 2 will be this point. 0, 2 will be this point. So we can clearly see that all these points lie on y-axis. Now, now note down these points very, very carefully. It, it actually form, uh, forms the basis for this topic. Points whose abscissa is constant or ordinate is 0 is a line parallel to y-axis. Now, what is trying to say? Means whose abscissa, abscissa means either x-axis part x-axis part is constant or ordinate is 0 is a line parallel to y-axis means suppose if we draw point 2 1 so the point 2 1 will lie over here we can clearly see we use now the point 2 1 will lie at this point this is the point and 2 3 again will lie at this point you can clearly see this is the point and 2 0 again will lie at this point so we can clearly see that if we draw a line the line will be all parallel to y-axis now this line this blue colored line is all is a line parallel to y-axis so it clearly proves that a point whose abscissa is constant or ordinate part is 0 is a line parallel to y-axis. Now, points whose ordinate part is constant or abscissa is 0 is a line parallel to x-axis. Now, means let me draw these points first. 3, 1. Now, 3, 1 will lie at this point. So, this is the point. 2, 1 will again be this point. This is the point. And 0, 1. So, 0 is this and 1 is this. So, this is the point. Now, if we draw a line like this, it will be a straight line parallel to x-axis. So, means the points whose ordinate part is constant or abscissa is 0 is a line parallel to x-axis. So, this represents the equations of lines parallel to x-axis and y-axis. So, further we will solve examples and some of the questions to more clearly see how we can use this concept for further questions. Suppose there is one question, we have to solve the equation 2x plus 1 equals to x minus 3 and represent the solution on first part is number line 
and second part is the Cartesian plane means we have to solve this equation this given equation and we have to find the solution and then we have to represent that solution on the number line and the Cartesian plane now we can clearly see that the equation is 2x plus 1 equals to x minus 3 now as we can clearly see in the equation the y part is 0 means either the y part is 0 or the y part is constant or the uh, or x part is constant uh, let me tell you how it can be solved if you solve further this it will be 2x minus x which is equals to minus 3 minus 1 so it will be x equals to minus 4 now from the solution we can see we have x as constant why because we have a unique solution for x but y can be either 0 or it can take any other value so this this actually equation represents the form that in which the abscissa is constant or ordinate part is zero it will be a line parallel to y-axis now if we suppose uh, draw the solution on number line for number line we can clearly see that we'll draw a number line like this as it is shown in the uh, above part and we'll mark this point x equals to minus 4 now this is a solution for uh, representation of number line but if we come to Cartesian plane so this is a solution for Cartesian plane we'll draw the Cartesian plane and we'll mark the point minus 4 and 0 which is our first point if we take y as 0 now if we take y as 2 and x will remain as minus 4 why because in this equation x has a unique solution so this is the point and if we take another solution so this will be the again another point now if we join all these three point we get a straight line like this and the line is parallel to y-axis so this is how we can uh, solve the solution for lines which are parallel to x-axis and y-axis now let us see how we can solve another question now the question is give the geometric representation of y equals to 3 as an equation in one variable and in two variable now we have equation y equals to 3 so if we have to uh, draw the geometric representation of this equation y as 3 in one variable in one variable means we have to represent solution on number line so clearly what we can do is we'll draw a line like this draw a line like this if we take this as 0 so this will be 1 this will be 2 and this will be 3 so this part will be solution so this is y equals to 3 so this is the representation of y equals 3 on the in one variable or on a number line now suppose we have to represent this solution on two variable on two variable means we have to represent the solution on Cartesian plane so what we'll do is we'll draw the Cartesian plane so the Cartesian plane will draw like this so y equals to 3 means the line will be parallel to x-axis why because we have y as an unique solution we have a unique solution for y so we can say that y will be fixed it will be fixed and the varying the variable part will be x so clearly if we draw the Cartesian plane 0 1 2 3 we'll draw point 1 2 3 so this is y this is x this is x dash this is y dash this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 3 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 3 so we have y equals to 3 and if we take another solution if we draw a box for this so box will come like this 
so it will be x and y if we assume x as 0 so y will be 3 if you assume x as 1 again y will be 3 why we have a unique solution for y if you assume x as 2 the y again will be 3 so we got three points the first point is 0 3 so this is the point then again we have point 1 and 3 so this is the point we have point 2 and 3 so this is the point so we join all the three points so we get a straight line which is parallel to x-axis so this is how we can represent equation on one variable and on two variable so let's discuss the next question which is also a last question of this video the question is we have to represent the geometric representation of this equation 2x plus 9 2x plus 9 equals to 0 as in one variable and two variable again one variable means on number line and two variable means on Cartesian plane now so equation is 2x plus 9 equals to 0 so 2x equals to minus 9 so x equals to minus 9 by 2 so which is minus 4.5 now if we represent this equation on a number line so we'll draw a line like this so this will be point 0 this will be minus 1 this will be minus 2 this will be minus 3 this will be minus 4 and this will be minus 5 again we need to represent point minus 4.5 on number line so the point will be in the middle of minus 5 and minus 4 so the point will be this so this is a point minus 4.5 now this is a solution of this equation 2x plus 9 on one variable or on a number line now we need to represent the solution 2x plus 9 on two variables so what we'll do is we'll draw again a Cartesian plane so the Cartesian plane will be like this so we'll mark the points 0 1 2 3 4 5 this will be 1 2 3 4 and this will be 5 so this will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so this will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 so this will be y dash this will be x dash this will be x and this will be y dash now we need to represent the two variables uh, this solution in two variables means we have x as fixed part minus 4.5 so means we have a new solution for x this means we can take ordinate part y as 0 or any other number so let me draw the box first again so for the solution we'll draw the box again so we have x y now if the x is minus 4.5 y is 0 if we keep again x as minus 4.5 y because x has unique solution we take y as 1 again x as minus 4.5 and y as 2 now so let us draw these points on a Cartesian plane so 0 and minus 4.5 so it will be point over here so this will be the point again 1 and minus 4.5 so this will be the point 2 minus 4.5 so this will be the point so if we join these two points three points so we get a, a line which is parallel to y-axis so which is the solution of the equation of the line 2x plus 9 equals to 0 in two variable so again thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com please watch uh, further videos have a nice day ahead